Once again, John Holt with Sports Sunday. Welcome back. Wednesday night, the Southington baseball team lost an extra inning state semifinal game at Muzzy Field in Bristol. Blue Knights coach Charlie Lembo and sister are no ghosts at Muzzy Field for his team. But there are memories of a game a year ago attended by 3,000. A game that might rank as the most fascinating high school baseball game in all of America in 2011. The people that you talk to that were at the game say it was really a life experience. This is the, so many people say it's the best game I've ever seen in my life. The amount of people there, it was just surreal being able to pitch, hearing people chant your team's name, hearing people chant your name. I tell myself to at least once a week go back and like watch film from the game or read an article. The story made all the national media outlets in the coming days after that. A ballpark that first opened in 1914 and twice hosted games that included Babe Ruth was the historic site for the 2011 Class L State Championship game. Good evening everyone. Welcome to Muzzy Field here in Bristol. The start pushed back 20 minutes by rain. The game later delayed 48 additional minutes in the second inning by more rain. The stoppage not helping starting pitcher Sal Romano of Southington and Cole Bryan of Newington, but also not enough to stop either from throwing every one of their team's pitches. Romano a remarkable 145, Bryant a hard to believe 176. Here comes the throw, that's going to be cut off to hold the runner at first. And we're going to extra inning, despite the miss from Mother Nature above. In the first extra inning, in the bottom of the eighth, Southington's Matt Spruill was on first base when Romano doubled down the left field line. Left field line, that's going to be a ball. fair ball, and here comes the potential game-winning run, turning the corner. Now this round in first, I was like, oh my god, we're going to win, we're going to win. I'll tell you what, I thought he missed home plate. So does a Newington, and they he called is him out, out at home. They called him out at home for he missing home. home for a minute there, you, you think that the game might be over. And then, you know, next thing you know, we have new life. When we were celebrating, I knew something was wrong because I heard their, their crowd from their side erupt. I remember I was walking out onto the field, getting my recorder on, just kind of scrambling, trying to put something up on Twitter. And you only get 140 characters, it doesn't take that long to type. And I was in the middle of typing the final score and saying what happened, and then it was like, wait, and, and that's when like Newington started cheering and you're like, oh wait, I should stop typing. Honestly, I didn't see it, but one of our players was yelling out, he missed home, he missed home. I looked up, I saw the umpire still standing there. Generally, when the game's over, the umpire walks away. When I saw he was standing there, I thought there was a good chance that he did miss it, and we appealed it, and fortunately, they called him out. I asked Matt, I said, I, 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 well, I'll be truthful. I said, why didn't you slide? I said, coach, I got the plate. I said, you, you sure? He says, yeah. He goes, if I didn't, I would have gone back and tagged him. He missed home plate, I saw it from here. The call was made. There's nothing I can do about it. There was nothing I could do that night about it. Um, do I agree with the call? No, I don't. I think it was, I think it was a mistake. Two innings later, in the top of the 10th, Newington would take a 3-2 lead. In the bottom of the inning, Southington loaded the bases with two outs. Then, with the count of 3-2, and two, Bryant delivered his 176th and final pitch of the night. Strike three. three call! He struck him out! It was a one game where you could say that both teams got to celebrate a state championship in one game. That's really all I think about. Newington, you class I'll tell you right now, my mom died two years ago. And I swear to God, she was looking down on us tonight. I got a hard time from people for, for saying that. It just, it's what came to me. I mean, obviously, right after the game, you're very emotional. The camera's in your face. And it was the first thing that came to my mind because, you know, I lost my mom a, a couple years ago. And, and I really, I felt her presence throughout the whole tournament. There was a quiet bus ride. Not, I didn't hear one word. Uh, all I heard was an occasional cry. And, uh, and just this weird sound of someone banging their head up against the seat, the bus seat. Acceptance of the loss did not come easily for some in Southington. Almost immediately, a theory was floated that the Newington shortstop, who received the cutoff throw in the eighth inning, had thrown the ball into the stands, dejected because he believed that his team had lost. Those advancing the theory suggest that Newington then tossed in a ball from its dugout to make the appeal. No video evidence suggested the game ball was ever thrown out of play. If it had been, 
the runner on second, Romano, would have been advanced two bases, in this case to home plate with the game-winning run. I was told by a few people on Sunday morning, the next morning, that that was the case. Um, but I can't refute it, but I also can't confirm that it happened. The uniqueness of the situation, I think, will kind of live in Southington, Newington lore for a long time. Our last practice was Friday, and Relay for Life here in Southington was just starting that Friday. So when we finished here on the field, I, we cleaned up the field, I had our guys take their spikes off, and we did a couple laps around and told them that's what life is about, not just a baseball game. And that brings me to why I'm wearing this shirt, because that all came from that day. We had ordered pink game shirts, and these pink t-shirts we've been selling in school, on the back it says Hits for Hope and um, we're gonna try to give as much money as we can to Relay for Life. It all kind of ties in on how, you know, things kind of do come full circle. That was a baseball game, and that was very important to me, that was very important to my players, their parents, the community, but in the end, it's still just a baseball game. Some postscripts to this fascinating story. As a freshman, Cole Bryant led Southern Connecticut State in wins this season. Sal Romano is pitching in the Cincinnati Reds minor league system. Matt Spruill, the runner who missed home plate, made a planned move with his family to Virginia, where his high school team advanced to the sectional finals this season. As for umpire Dave Bendis, he says 40 years of integrity would have gone out the window if he didn't call what he saw that night at home plate. He adds that the game has become his own personal Frankenstein, the monster that won't go away.